When NCIS New Orleans debuted here on WKYT two years ago, it became an instant hit. A spinoff from the popular show NCIS now has millions of viewers. The crime drama follows Special Agent Dwayne Pride and his team of criminal investigators working cases involving military personnel in the Big Easy. Recently, WKYT was invited down to New Orleans and granted an inside look. Tonight, I'm taking you behind the scenes and giving you an all-access pass to NCIS New Orleans. When viewers tune in to NCIS New Orleans, they are instantly transported to some of the most iconic places in the Big Easy. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, 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 bang. Shot entirely on location in a city known for its music, food, and nightlife. One could say New Orleans itself plays the starring role, and it's something fellow actors don't seem to mind. Oh, yes, I think New Orleans is our lead, is our lead actress. You yeah. know, it's, it's, this city is so magical and, and intense and heavy and scary and mm -hmm. sad as well, obviously. Yeah. Um, but it's, 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 it's everything, and it is a character. NCIS New Orleans is wrapping up a very successful second season. The show follows a team of naval criminal investigators led by veteran actor Scott Bakula. Don Lambert's former accounting partner, serving time for racketeering in federal prison. Bakula's character, Special Agent Dwayne Pride, is based on a real life former naval criminal investigator, Dwayne Swear. Serving now as a technical advisor to the show, Swear still has a hard time believing he was the inspiration. Pinch me. It was a it was it was a surprise. I I, I had mentioned to uh, somebody, if you would have asked me three years ago if I would be involved in a television show, I would probably say I'm not sure what you're drinking, but I want some. Okay. The crime drama is full of over-the-top storylines, but it's the characters that seem to bring it all home. Rob Kirkovich is one of them. He plays Sebastian, the quirky lab guy. So how does he know all that lab lingo? Well, often when I have to do something technical or say something technical, I'll just. Uh, it starts with Google pronunciation searches. Sebastian's lab is just one of the areas we were given an inside look. The lab, along with the coroner's office, the squad room, Agent Pride's kitchen, and the courtyard are all prominently featured in the weekly show. They aren't scattered all over New Orleans, instead found in one place, an old warehouse right outside the city. To the naked eye, most everything looks very official, until you take a closer look. Speaking of bodies, here are the, the sort of the cooler drawers where bodies are kept, but as you can see, what? Reality just broke wide open. There's nothing back there. 